Do I look okay on the thing? Yeah, no, you look fine. I look what? You look fine. Yeah, I do. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> hurry the fuck up. Okay, um, just in general, do you think people find their true self in life? Like a majority of people? Find their true self? Yeah. Definitely not. No? People are stupid. Do you think you found your true self? No, I, but I'm closer every time I'm, I, I try to look at myself and try to look inwards all the time. Uh -huh. And, um, I think the foundation is always the same, but there's like little e evolutions and, and intricacies within like your decision making or like your values that would change a tiny bit mm -hmm. or yeah, but I don't, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think so because a lot of the times I'm like, I don't even know who the fuck I am. And then like, I would try to look inward or like try to talk to close friends or a therapist or like, try to deal with my own shit and then weeks after that then I feel a little better I go okay well this is who I am right. I could either accept that and just be that person or I could be like no I don't don't I don't like that I do this I don't like how I feel about you know doing this because some of the things yeah and then so I just try to either change it or I accept it right. do you know anyone that you think found their true yeah. self yeah yeah no not anybody that it, I don't think anybody could find their true self I mean, I haven't met anyone, but I don't think anybody has been like, I know exactly who I am to the T. Like, that's impossible because everybody are put, if you're in a comfortable situation, people change or like they, you know how like in movies, people always go like, people find out who they are at the last minute before they die or when they're put in like very dangerous situations and they have to make a decision whether they save themselves or their family. Those things like... I feel like then you find out like, oh, this is who I am. Do I like what I did just now or do I not like like example, if if like uh, if there's like an active shooter. OK, this is an extreme example. And you're with, I don't know, a date like a guy or if you if you're gay, you're with another woman. You let's just play like a gay thing because so that it's more equal. So it's two women, right? Uh -huh. And then maybe you thought, man, I'm gonna protect this girl. The moment you see the gun, you run. Okay, <laughs> so, wait, wait. so how long do I know this girl? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. That matters too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but but some people in your situation, they may just protect the girl, even though they Don't they know. met them the first yeah. time, and that's just who they are, you know. That's true. Yeah. So I I think people always change depending on things and situations. But um, I I do think this is an interesting one that. I think is interesting is that I feel like a lot of gay people who is how who's came out of the closet a while they're so comfortable of being who they are because they were so uncomfortable and they were in the closet but when they came out they're like dude if I could come out as gay not now not now in like especially LA like it's so normal for people to come out or it's so normal to be gay it's so embraced but I'm talking about when people are more conservative like 10 years ago, uh, even coming out as trans now, you know, yeah. like it's when they're comfortable enough to do that. And cause that's like the biggest thing, right? If they're comfortable enough to do that, then they accept it. The other things, who cares, you know, yeah. like what kind of food or what type of thing, like they don't care about. So they're so comfortable. And, and the thing is like when people came out of being gay, like a while ago, people like shamed them, made fun of them so much, called them names and all this. So they, they build like an, uh, a defense mechanism or like they learn how to cope with situations like that so well that, and they're always looking inwards. They're like, well, why am I like this? Why do I like girls or guys? And then because they, they did the work mm -hmm. internally. So when they come out, they're like so free. And then you can't really make them uncomfortable. It doesn't matter what they say. They've heard it. And then they know how to like, like Tai Chi, all the like comments mm -hmm. and shit like that. Yeah. But OK, so then so then you think people that come out are more oh, like more who they are compared to other people or? I think so, because you have to do so much work for to come out. Uh -huh. There's so much work to be done. You can't just come out when you're not ready. You still, you know what I mean? There's so much work that you have to do internally, like uh, for, you have to deal with society, your family. Those are two huge things. And you have to know that you're gay. 
you know what I mean? Or like you're trans or whatever the secret is that is inside of you. Uh-huh. You have to accept that for to come out to tell people. Right. And a lot of people, that's why I feel like a lot of people don't know who they are because they never looked inwards. They just hide it or like they like they either hide it or they like um, never talk about. I, I mean, that's hiding it, too, but right. they never think to look inwards. They just numb themselves like. You know, either with drinking substance or they just keep, keep, they don't have the opportunity to even look inwards. Like our parents' generations, they never complain about stuff because they just always, uh, they're so busy, you know? So they're always like trying to survive instead of like looking inwards. Yeah. yeah so, so then, okay, so then for people that are trying to find themselves, because mm-hmm. you're obviously taking the steps, right? Yeah, I'm always yeah. trying to take the steps so to find what myself. Was your, what was your first step to find your true self? Because some people don't even know where to start and like, what's the best way to... That's a good question. And I I know exactly how, how I did it, mm-hmm. the, the first step, but not everybody has a similar a journey, but okay. right, so everybody, has a different but my thing is that i was so desperate because i was so depressed and sad because um i didn't know who i was i don't know what i wanted to do i um was not happy and i was lying all the time not all the time but i was lying a lot about everything like about when i was talking to women i lied just like stupid things. Stupid things. Small things like, did you eat ice cream? Psst, no, I don't eat ice cream. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm working out a lot. So what do you mean? Yeah. Well, meanwhile, I'm eating all the ice cream. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but, yeah, but in my mind, I love ice cream. <laughs> but, but in my mind, when I was like 15 or whatever, like I'm like, oh man, if, if they think I like ice cream, then I, I'm like a pussy or whatever. So it doesn't matter what it is. Like I'll just lie to make myself look better. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I feel like I still, I don't lie like stupid things like that. And this is the thing, I this is a little sidebar that I try not to lie because if you lie, you don't feel centered. Like you don't, you feel weak. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm not a psychopath. Like a, lot, a lot of people, when they lie, they believe in their lie. So it's so believable right. or their perception is skewed of themselves. So it's just, but I can't do that. I know what I know. And I know myself, so if I say something that's different than what I know, then I feel very weak. Okay. Yeah, so, so your first step part. then was... So my, my first step was to... Uh, so I don't know anything, you know what I mean? Like, So my first step was to like, okay, what do... And I didn't have any hobbies. True. So I wanted to... Um, try something that i want to do every, i want to do something that i think that i would like and i didn't like anything at the time i hated everything the only thing i liked was to go out with friends get fucked up mm-hmm. like you know smoke weed do x or drink mm-hmm. till the morning you know like everybody else with every every teen you know not everything but a lot of them yeah. um but so that's what i liked but it was still empty because every time I get fucked up, the next day on the come down, I'm always like, well, what do I like? Like, because on the come down, it's so sad. I'm always like, well, what the fuck was all that for? Mm-hmm. I always have a great time then because I'm fucked up. Right. Yeah. And everybody's having a great time. Mm-hmm. But always the next day, I'm like, why did I? It just feels so empty and repetitive. Okay, you go to the same bar, you're cool with the waiters, you're cool with the manager or even the owner, and then they give you stuff on the house for what, like 20 bucks and you feel special, but then you tip them even more to show that you appreciate it. And then people, the new friends or whoever that that you want to bring to the, the bar that you know or the club that you know, you, you feel cool. You're like, oh man, this motherfucker knows everybody. Okay. I'm going to give my pussy to this guy because he's the shit. <laughs> but meanwhile, I'm like, people like, to me, that's cool for a little bit. Like, it's cool to experience, but you're a loser if you do that for over three years. Yeah. Three is like, okay, like high school, college, you know, maybe like even into your mid 20s fine but after that you doing that mid 30s mid 40s like what are you doing that's not cool um so I, every time i did that i get so empty after i'm like yeah but as the same friends who's like you know yeah there's just same friends that same people and it's just so then 
I get so sad after that. I go, well, I want to find something I'm actually passionate about. So then, or like actually enjoy, like doing and feel some sort of like interest and um, yeah, in it. So that, that's also another question though. Like how did you even start to find your interest? How did you even- I'm going to tell you, I'm about to tell you. Okay. If, if you stop and me. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I appreciate you trying to get me on track yeah. when, when I'm sidebarring too too long. But I, I try to keep that. I put a pin on my thing and then sometimes I go too far. And um, I so what I do is that I. Um, so I tell myself every week I'm going to find one thing to do that I've never done. Okay. I will find one thing that I've never done, either read a type of book, go to a place like whether it be that a, a different farmer's market or a different beach, different hike or like um, hang out with a friend that I never have before, hit them up or like wear a clothing that I've never would wear or um, uh, like go to a place. It doesn't or like do an activity like go to like an escape room or whatever the thing is or hobbies like I literally Googled like people's hobbies and it could be like cleaning like really thoroughly okay like that could be a thing yeah i think you'd be good at it and rearranging, <laughs> rearranging it i think i would be good at it yeah. okay what is that supposed to mean you know what that means. what that means that i don't do it i mean you could do it you could be very particular and meticulous about certain things yeah i have ocd yeah my room was did you know i before I, my room was so clean and so neat. Did you did you know that? I mean, it's still. I don't have much. Am I wrong? I don't know. What do you mean? Not out here. Out where? Where here? <laughs> where? What are you talking about? Where am I not clean? <laughs> uh, when you leave your dishes out, your your lollipop my, out. When did I leave my dishes out? You leave your dishes out all the time. Sure, I don't say all the time. You're like, oh, I'm going to come back to it and use it again. So I don't need it. Yeah, but that's one piece. You're. This is the thing that, why I don't, that I'm not categorized as like super messy and dirty. Okay. is because I don't use many dishes. You can't say that you use many dishes because I don't. I use maybe two pieces of dish. Okay. Like utensils. <laughs> like one Right? Uh huh, that's true. Right? Like, cause I try, cause I always have that in mind. I don't want to do dishes and I want other people to do dishes. So I try to use one utensil as long as I can. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay, fair. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, and then like lollipop, I have a lollipop on the table right now because <laughs> earlier I was sucking the lollipop and then I, I had to go do something. So, but I couldn't, I need both of my hands. So I don't want to suck and then put it. So I just leave it in the thing. Uh -huh. And then now I, when I'm done with what I need to do, then I come back and suck the lollipop. Yeah. But then most of the time you just leave it there and it sits there for a long ass time. You most don't of the time to it. Yeah. You, you don't choose your words carefully. <laughs> so I would get, allow you the opportunity to choose a more accurate word because <laughs> most of the time means I do it more than half of the time right and i don't do it more than half of the time <laughs> right you, are you there when i'm fucking not doing it are you counting those times most of the time anyways <laughs> all right go back to it god damn um so the reason why you i um how i found it is because you choose your hobbies and you do one thing so then i google like hobby people do and cleaning would be a thing and uh, another thing would be like build like a boat, uh -huh. like a toy boat. So in general, you just do new hobbies every every single time whenever you- Every get week. Oh, okay. No, you have to tell yourself every week you choose one thing. So then I, another thing is like fly a kite. Mm. People enjoy that. <clears throat> so I did that. I flew kites. Okay, but doing all these hobbies, what does it- like, what will it bring towards? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> All right. If you stop interrupting well, me for the second you're time. You're giving like a thousand examples, so get to it. So, but I'm just letting people know. I'm giving <laughs> people examples, so if they're like, what do I do? I'm giving them some. Okay. Right. Yeah, so fly a kite and or like those toys. Uh -huh. Like, 
like uh, model toys that you could glue and put it into like, it's like a transformer and very intricate pieces that you could like glue and paint and like build these things. And I tried that. Okay. Yeah, and, or f Frisbee. I did that. I played with myself. I threw it far and then I walked over, picked it up, threw it back. <laughs> Cause I didn't have friends. <laughs> okay, that didn't happen. But I did play Frisbee with other people though. Um, why did you nod your head like I I didn't have friends, all right? Because I definitely picture you throwing a frisbee. And walking over? <laughs> okay, I could see how you could see that, but I didn't do that. All right. All right. So, and I play volleyball. I wanted to get it as sports, as many, as many sports. Even though you, you don't think you like it, go play it f three times a week just to try it. Okay. Is the thing. Or like go explore different foods with friends. That's a thing. Or like take pictures with your phone. That could be a hobby. Like you're like this week, I'm gonna take as many pictures of plants as possible, and then you're like, I want to, and and by the end of the week, I want to pick pick the best three pictures, and then be like, I love these three, or journaling, you know. Yeah. More examples. I'm gonna do five more minutes of examples. What? Give me a minute. <laughs> I think they got it. They got it. Yeah, they got okay. it. Okay, I just want to make sure they got it. Oh, they got it. So, um, and then you you when you have like these hobbies, you go do them. Every hobby will lead you, it will give you a different experience with different people. So then when you are doing a thing, even if you're alone, you're learning different things. You're watching a YouTube tutorial. You're like learning how to do certain things either with your, your physical intelligence. Like, uh, what is that called? Anatomy. What? Kinesthetics. Kinesthetics. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, like, an, yeah. yeah and then yeah so and then if you do like sudoku which i try too and that would help your mathematical in, intelligence and then but if you do a thing with other people like sports or whatever then you're building like relationships with other people mm -hmm. and you're like having a good time you know and figuring out what you like what you don't like and you're building your social skills and you will have a because that you're building a different experience you will n now narrow down because but you can't just do it once and you go oh, i don't want to do it that's why you like do it for a week or two or a month because then you keep doing it then now then now you f start narrowing down okay i don't super enjoy this part of the thing but i enjoy not like if you help go help out in a soup kitchen which i did too mm -hmm. then you'll go oh or whatever the thing is, you're like, oh, I like this part, but I don't like this other part. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, and you figure out whatever you like and you don't like. So you start narrowing down, narrowing down, and then you'll find a thing that you like. Okay. And, you, and then you just continue doing the things that you like doing. So now you have hobbies now. That's true. That makes sense. Or the thing, at least you know yourself a little more. You go, okay, I, I tried all these things. No, other people didn't try. All right. They didn't go fishing, go golfing, or whatever the thing is. Go snowboarding, skiing. You do the thing, and then you do enough time of, uh, of it. Then you could judge, like, okay, I don't like this part, but I like that part. But I love, you know, whatever the thing is. Like, you could tell the difference of snowboarding and skiing. If you have to do that enough times to be like, this is why I don't like the thing. It, the details of it. And then you just go, oh, I, I think I'm this type of person. But you never know. Maybe in, like, five years, you're like, you know what? No, I, I do like the thing. Okay, so that, that's a good point though, because a lot of people do a lot of activities yet, but they don't really think to themselves, oh, what exactly is it that I like? You know, they just yeah. put in a general sense, oh, yeah, I, I enjoy this, I enjoy this. Yeah, to me, it's always the why. Why do you like it? Right. Do you do it because you think it's cool because other people do it? Which a lot of people do it like that. They, they think it's cool or they want to do it to like be accepted in a group, which that's cool too. Like, you, you want to be accepted in a group, but are they healthy for you? You know, like, are, are they actually your good friends or are you just doing it because you want to be seen a certain way? Yeah, and then you're not actually enjoying it, you know? Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, the why. I, I think asking yourself why is uh, very important. Like, why you like a certain thing. Yeah. Especially if you want to find yourself and who... Yeah, I definitely jerked off a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a hobby of mine. <laughs> I mean, it still is, uh -huh. but it's less it's exciting now <laughs> than it was when I was 15 mm. or 14. When did I start? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I was 11 years old. Wow. No, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 years old. Ew. Fifth grade, yeah. But that was a great hobby. I loved it. <laughs> that was a great time.
But that's not that healthy because you're alone right. and you're beating your dick. <laughs> <laughs> and your grandma comes in your room, look, looks at the trash can, and sees wads of <laughs> tissue, and go, "What is this, Jason?" <laughs> and then you go, "What do you mean, what is what is this? You know what the fuck this is? <laughs> Why are you asking me weird stuff?" <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm in front of the computer with the home screen, <laughs> and wads of tissues. Like, like what is your question? <laughs> Can you use that in a sentence? Like, what are you talking about right now? What is this, Jason? That's definitely not a hobby that you can find yourself in, right? No. <laughs> if anything, that is pushing you further away <laughs> from finding who you are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, does that help, though? You think that... I don't know if that helps other people to... Try to find, but the thing is, like, desperation was my last thing because I was just so desperate. I was like, fuck, dude, I just want to find something I'm interested in because I feel lost and I feel lonely and I feel like I'm just, I'm just trying to be accepted and I, I'm not really like trying to. I'm not making myself happy right. and I'm never happy. And I'm, I'm only happy when other people recognize me. Like, oh, I guess Jason's cool because he's doing this because we do it. But it's like, that's, that sucks. Because you don't even want to do it. Yeah. Why would you do a thing that you don't want to do? Just for to have somebody that that's like, oh, yeah, you're cool, you know? Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, till next time. Bye. Bye.